Leo Virgo Cuspers. Hey guys, welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a monthly reading for you for my Leo Virgo Cuspers. Yeah, so uh, keep in mind that, you know, time is an illusion, energies are fluid. This is a message for April, but whatever, it doesn't necessarily have to be April. Also, keep in mind that this is a general reading. Yes, so I'm doing um, mini freestyle readings. If you guys are familiar with my channel, you know what those are. If not, just continue watching and you'll soon find out. Yeah. Okay. I just want to get into it here. I don't want to make this too much of a thing. So for you guys, um, uh, Leo Virgo Cuspers, I feel what I feel like for you is happening right now. Um, this is a, this is your pre-shuffle energies. And what I'm getting from it is like, I'm, I'm hearing that you're taking your matters into your own hands. You have the high priestess here, which to me is speaking to having I feel like you've come into a greater sense of awareness or a higher awareness, or I feel like what I'm hearing is maybe you're trusting in the divine more, you're trusting in the unknown more, you're trusting in the universe more, okay? Um, because you have a change, you've experienced a change in perspective with the hanged man, um, with the page of cups and the magician, the page of cups is a, uh, is an energy of of um is like the dreamer energy and what i'm getting for you guys here is that you you've recently dealt with maybe one experience or a number of experiences it very well could be and actually that's what i just heard you've dealt with a number of experiences this has been an ongoing process for some time that could have left you with this hanged man energy could have left you felt feeling stuck or stagnant for an extended amount of time but I feel like you're breaking free of that. I mean, that's pretty obvious with the magician energy here. But then also, I've, I, I, I did hear quite clearly for you that you're taking matters into your own hands. You are allowing yourself to go for your dreams is what I'm hearing. Um, and there's a level of... I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. This Nine of Cups energy that's at the bottom of the deck, it's a little smug. But with that said, I feel like you, given the, the circumstances or the experiences that you've been through lately with this hanged man energy and the change in perspective that you've reached, I feel like you kind of have a little bit of a right to be a little smug, maybe a little, might want to try and stay as humble as possible, but I mean that, I, I, I really don't feel like there's anything all that bad about that. Um, and I don't feel like you're trying to be overtly like in people's face, like, ha ha, look at me, look at me, look at what I got or look at what I'm doing. It's just a matter of maybe when you think back on what you've experienced and what you've been through, you know, up until now, and you see how much you've grown, how far you've come, you might get a little bit like, mm -hmm, yeah, I got this. Like, you know, all right. That's good though. That's good, you guys. All right, so one more shuffle and then we're gonna get into the rest of the reading here. Here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. For all, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm so on hot autopilot now with that. Okay, wait, let me try that again. Please make me a clear channel for all Leo Virgo cuspers. There we go. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of April 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, kids. I'm going to give this five shuffles. Let's see what we've got for you here. One. For my Leo Virgo Cuspers for the month of April 2020. Two. Leo Virgo. Leo Virgo. Three. I'm seeing green for you guys. So I feel like there's a lot of heart healing that has happened in the past and this is where i feel like you're making your moves from now 
four, five. I think this is five. Yeah. We're just gonna we're just gonna go for it. All right. Let's see what we've got for you guys. All right. Overall energy is the six of cups. Yeah. Uh, reminiscing on the past, potentially getting back to your past. You know, the Six of Cups has been coming out pretty frequently. Um, it came out a number of times, I feel like. Maybe, okay, well, maybe only like two or three times so far in these, in these cusper, in this round of cusp readings. Um, but I, but even, even with like the morning coffee, the general readings that I've been doing there, this Six of Cups has been speaking to, speaking very much towards getting back to your roots as a person, as an individual, who you are, maybe even getting back to your roots in, as in like who you were or what you were interested in, in as a child. Um, there also with this six of cups energy, there is, there is a, there is a level of reconciling with your inner child, which could very well be leading to you rekindling old, I, I want to say like rekindling old flames, but I don't mean this in the sense that like you're reopening or you're trying to get back into old relationships or maybe even relationships with old, with like old and outdated and, and old and outdated patterns. I feel like this would be like rekindling past passions, passion projects, things that you were really excited about as a kid, things that you, that you were really into uh, when in the past, earlier in life, hobbies, uh, whatnot that, that kind of energy that's kind of, that's what i'm feeling from this from this six of cups here okay uh, a resurgence of joy and excitement and wonder from the past so a lot of what you guys may have been experiencing the the the, the tough circumstances the the, the 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 things that you experienced in your life that were um recently that like that hanged man energy that let you, left you feeling stuck and stagnant but ultimately helped you change your point of view this is the new point of view that I feel like you're in right now. One of like maybe childlike wonder or excitement, fulfillment even, finding being, oh, okay, being able to find fulfillment in the smallest things. In things that maybe your adult mind might be like, that's ridiculous. That's child's play. But then your inner child is like, yeah, exactly. That was, that's what makes it so fun. Well, that's beautiful. I love that. Underneath the Six of Cups is the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so this is uh, this is speaking to balance here. Definitely balance for sure. Um, and honestly, what I'm feeling for... This is really interesting, you guys. What I'm feeling is like there is a balancing out between your adult and your inner child, your ego and your intuition, um, or, or your mind and your heart, maybe. Whatever this Six of Cups energy is for you, it is the, 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 the emergence or resurgence, I guess, of it in your life is bringing greater balance to you. And with the infinity symbol here, I almost feel like you guys are starting to recognize the level of abundance that you do, in fact, have access to that could have been holding you back in the past. Underneath the two of cups, I'm sorry, the two of <laughs> underneath the two of pentacles is the ten of pentacles. Okay, so uh, uh, it's like a lesson has been completed here for you. Um... This could be a family and home situation. This could be a career. The one thing that I've been, I am feeling is the energies of having been working towards something for a long time. And I don't feel like it's, it's like you're, you're, you're moving forward or starting something. I feel like this is what you've been working on up until this point. There's a completion of a process here. There's a completion of a life lesson that's happening here for you or that has happened here for you. And I feel like it's come through with this Six of Cups energy, with this childlike sense of wonder, excitement, any, something like that. That's been, that's what has been completed here. Underneath the Ten of Pentacles is the Ten of Wands. Very interesting. There's been a lot of burdens in the past. A lot of things have been holding you back. A lot of things have been keeping you down. But also what I'm getting with this what right now is that with this emergence of this Six of Cups energy for you, this innocence, this childlike innocence, 
things from the past, I feel like you are recognizing all of the ways that you are burdened and you're starting to recognize things that you can lay down, release from your life that you no longer need to carry. It may even be so it may even be the fact that you don't even want to carry these things any longer, which is great because that's what has been burdening you in the past for so long that either there was this sense of duty or there was this sense of requirement. And now, now that you, now that like this six of cups energy has come forward for you, it's like, you don't even want to be bothered with it any longer. You, you what's the point? It doesn't make you happy. So why do you continue to do it? But you see therein lies the completion of the lesson. Ten of Pentacles and the greater sense of balance. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Some of you may have really been like workaholics, like crazy. Like living to, to, to work instead of working to live. That's beautiful. The fact that you can come out of that, though, that's really beautiful. Okay. Okay, so let's get into the rest of this here. First set of surrounding energies for you. You have 1111. The King of Pentacles, very nice. So there is definitely an energy of being well manifested, well grounded, sure of yourself, confident, independent, fixed, stable, solid, grounded. I feel like whatever process you've been through that produced the change in perspective that the Hanged Man was discussing in the beginning in the pre-shuffle, I mean, you guys are so solid now because of that. You're solid in yourselves. And you don't need the opinions of others. You don't need the input of others. It's not like you're even worried about that. You're just good on your own. You're good doing what it is you're doing, you know? It's beautiful. King of Pentacles is coupled with. The, oh, the King of Swords. Well, would you look at that? Yeah, you really don't need the opinions of others. You're like, look, uh, look, don't even come at me with that mess. You know what I mean? It's like, okay, it's like, okay, so, okay, well, with the King of Swords energy, it's like, oh, oh, you got something to say? All right, I'll oblige you. I'll listen. But then as soon as you, as soon as you're done talking, he's like, are you done? Are, are we done here? Great, I'm going to go. Bye. You know what I mean? Sure of yourself. That's what I heard. You're very sure of yourself. And that's a beautiful thing. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Leo, Virgo, Cuthbert, you got, okay, well, there's the five of wands. That's interesting, but I feel what I just heard is this chaos is around you. This differing of opinion is around you. It could very well be that whatever change or transformation you've gone through is causing a little bit of a ruckus in the people around you. All right, because they want to know where the old you is. They want the old you back. They're kind of confused. They're like, well, wait a second. And it could very well be that maybe some of you are completely changing your trajectory in life. You're changing what it is you do for a living. You're, you, you're, you know, and it may not, and especially for those of you that are getting back into something that you used to do in the past, it's not like it's all of that different. It's all that much of a change, but the people that knew you before you just made this change, they didn't know about this. They probably don't know that deep about you. I feel like the people around you right now or the people in your atmosphere right now that are, that are, that are, you know, having ego battles or like e opinions are flaring or egos are flaring, blah, blah, blah. I don't feel like these are people that have known you for very long. Like there are people that have come into your life in the recent past. These could be friends. These could be coworkers. I am also hearing soulmates. So this could be a romantic part, maybe. I, I mean, this is not this is not a love. This does not have love. This is not a love reading other than like self-love. Okay, but this is, I'm not picking up on love here. But it could be like the people around you, soulmates, counterparts, whatnot, whatever. You're kind of re-identifying, you're changing yourself or getting back into who you truly are. And that's causing a little bit of fear. Maybe some people don't want to lose you. Maybe some people feel like they might lose you. Five of Wands is coupled with the Three of Wands. Oh, okay, well, they might lose you. Because it seems, it seems that you have your eye, your, you, I just get the feeling that you're looking off onto a new path.
That's strange. It's like uh, with the three, because the three of wands is talks about um, waiting for a return on an investment. It could also even represent, um, you know, I, I sometimes I see it as uh, continuing the momentum of something that you've already started. Um, and also I see this as being on your path, being on the right path for you. And, I, and it's interesting because what I get is like you're looking off in a in a different or a new direction versus what these people around you know of you. And but see, that's the weird thing about it. It's not so new. It's not so different. It's just these people around you don't understand that. What they don't know is that this has been a part of you all along. Or this has been in the direction you've been needing to move in or trying maybe even trying to move in all along and they didn't know that they didn't see it and maybe now oh i just heard comeuppance so maybe now there's some sort of karmic justice that's being served in your life that is that is uh very favorable to you and they're maybe kind of getting the shit under the stick or maybe they feel like they're getting the shit under the stick and that's why their egos are flaring but also if they were um if they were influencing you to do something or trying to get you off your path, there could be some karmic retribution that's that's coming through for them. And I'm not and that's not to say that all of them were trying to do it maliciously for their own egoic reasons, but for the most part, maybe they were. And now that you're changing your trajectory, it's like they're getting kind of left in the dust or whatever it is that they were receiving from you is no longer being given out right you're no longer giving that any longer or anymore and so now they're kind of like well what the fuck man you can't just you can't just do that and it's like um actually yeah i can and i'm gonna so bye <laughs> all right okay your challenge ah there you go ten of swords you have the ten of pentacles the ten of wands and the ten of swords and I feel like the, the the challenge here for you, Leo Virgo Cusper, is to just allow the situation to come to an end. Some of you might be resisting this change. Others of you, it's the people around you that are resisting the change. But the challenge right now is, I feel like, is you just have to get through this. There's really nothing you can do other than allow yourself to get through it. That's all you need to do. And that may not be that may be way easier said than done this might be a really tumultuous term like very this could be a really rocky com like closing out of a cycle but ultimately it's necessary it's getting you to where you need to go it's furthering you down along your path getting you further down along your path ten of swords is coupled with the star all right this is your challenge now see yeah the the challenge for you leo virgo cusper is to literally just allow this to happen and you don't know how it's going to happen you don't know you don't know how long it's going to take you don't know where it's going to leave you leave you whatnot whatever but ultimately this there is healing that's coming through here there's a cleansing and a clearing that's happening with this situation closing out okay so just allow it to happen go with the flow have faith that everything is working out the way exactly the way it's supposed to okay closing message or potential outcome for you guys here the four of wands that is a great way to end this for sure this is stability this is foundation this is spiritual foundation this is creative foundation um this is a celebration but it doesn't necessarily mean to stop here. You're not, your work isn't done yet, but you've reached a milestone. This is definitely a milestone, okay? Four of Wands is coupled with, damn, the Queen of Wands. All right, y'all, look at you. See, you're really, you're, you're really found, you're foundation, great foundation here for you. Okay, and with this Queen of Wands energy, don't allow, don't get yourself caught up in the gender. This has nothing to do with gender. Okay, the Queen of Wands represents, in my opinion, actually, represents, I, I see her as the physical embodiment of the law of attraction. So what this is saying to me is that with, between the Four of Wands and the Queen of Wands, it's like you have enough of an emotional, creative, and maybe even spiritual foundation for yourself to align with exactly what it is you want and start to really work with the magical forces of the universe. 
right? This is a really good position to be in. So whether you're a man or a woman, it really does not matter. And all of this completion here between the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles being that life lesson being completed, right? It's like all of this stuff is clearing away for you to be magical. Magical AF, y'all. All right? That's beautiful. That is beautiful. So let's close this out for you. I just want to get some Oracle guidance from the unicorns to close out your reading here. One more shuffle. All right. So for my Leo Virgo cuspers, just to close out this reading here for you guys. That was interesting. Oh, okay. They keep flying out, but then they don't. <laughs> All right. Leo Virgo Cusper is here. What have we got? Let's get some closing. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. You have three. And then at the bottom of the deck, you have prosperity. That's great. So a gift of money is on its way. Your income is increasing. Manage your finances with love. That's beautiful. And then you have awareness here with trust and compassion. And, you know, awareness is, I think, the biggest part of this, all of this for you guys, especially with that, um, the hanged man energy, the change in perspective there. The awareness here for you guys is really everything, is what's facilitating this, helping to facilitate this change for you, okay? It's helping to put you in a position where you can look, exact, look at exactly what's going on and be like, okay. I need to change this. You have trust. Leap into the unknown. Have faith and move forward. Believe you will fly. And also you have compassion. Be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free. Set, see the light in yourself and others. So definitely as you're making this transition, and especially if you have a lot of people that are giving you a lot of shit <laughs> for this, allow yourself or work, work on how being compassionate there because it's their egos that are flaring it has more to do with them than it has to do with you okay so don't let that bother you don't let that get you down work on being compassionate here all right so there you have it guys thank you so much for tuning in i hope this was helpful um if you'd like a look into your own personal situation please don't hesitate to email me all the information is in the description box below but with that said i hope you guys have a great month and i look forward to connecting with you again most likely for our next reading for the month of may yeah take care Mwah! Bye!